Hello, I'd like to take a couple of minutes and show you this new street light that I got yesterday. Uh, it's actually the first street light I've gotten since I started collecting lights about a year ago. Uh, this particular fixture is an American Electric 115 series uh, street light. And as you can see by the label, it is a 100 watt high pressure sodium fixture. Here's the label. Um, as you can see, this fixture was made about two and a half weeks ago, and I ordered it about three weeks ago. I ordered it from Gray Bar, and they sent the order to American Electric, and I got it yesterday. Uh, 100 watt, high pressure sodium, 120 volt, um, reactor normal power factor ballast, and flat glass. So this is a full cutoff fixture that does not um, spread light above 90 degrees, which is important if light pollution is a concern. So we can open this up. Here you can see the ballast, um, the igniter, um, the terminals where you would wire it up, and that's the slip fitter bracket where you would put the fixture on a pole and secure it right there. And of course lamp socket and reflector. Let's turn this over. So that's where you would put in a photo cell which would automatically turn on the light at night and off in the morning. And that's where you would put a level to make sure that the fixture is leveled. And that's where you would put the fixture on the pole bracket to mount it on a pole. Um, I also got a lamp for this fixture. Uh, it's a Philips Ceramolux Alto lamp, 100 watt. As you can see, it was made in August 2006. I got it on eBay for about $10. And here's a photo cell. This is what you would put on it to make it turn on at night and off in the morning. I'm not going to use one, though, because I want it to turn on whenever it's plugged in, so I'm going to use a shorting cap. And I guess that's about it. So I'm going to install this fixture and wire it up, and then we can see it turning on. Okay, so here's the fixture installed in my garage. Got it all wired up, and I put the lamp in, and I put a shorting cap in, as you can see up there. And so now we could turn it on. I got it on a remote control just for this demo. So here we go.
So it's probably at full brightness right now. It's kind of hard to tell because of the camera. Um, but that's my American Electric 115 100 watt sodium streetlight.